So I'm a guy who's constantly making tea and I use the flavor packets that you can buy at the Dollar Tree to do that. But what I'm noticing of late when I'm going to the Ruler Store, which is a kind of second chance food organization of Kroger, is I'm finding that the water bottles are losing their handles. I feel that's unfortunate because many people who are elderly do not grip well something this large. And since there's no handle anywhere on the bottle, this handle helps us to grab a hold of it and dump and pour. And openly that may be a bore to people who work in that store, but I notice that more and more the handles are coming off of the stacks of these bottles instead of staying on the stacks of the bottles. I'm also registering that some of my bottles are now overfilling meaning they come in over full as opposed to the appropriate standard spot. Now it's true there's that odd bottle every once in a while, but sometimes people like to steal from a company. will take the fresh clean water that is provided by a store and dump it into their home big container. And then they'll fill up the bottle and put it back on the shelf. And that's immoral. The value of people is what we do and what we say, but the value of you in the world today is whether or not you're trustworthy. Isn't that supposed to be the first question in American culture is whether or not someone has honesty? The one thing I always talk about is there's honest people like me, and then there's people like me who do not lie. But we all have things that we do not disclose because it's nobody's business. So let's talk about honesty. What is honesty today? Is honesty when someone says, how are you today, and you have the shittiest day of your life, and then you say, fine? Or have you just been trained culturally appropriately to the social aspects of an introduction in a conversation? Whereas in Japanese culture, we say something else. We literally talk about the weather after our first greeting, and then we sit down and get down to business. And we don't always talk about family unless there's an opportunity. And as a cross-cultural person, I can get away with that a lot more than perhaps men in regular business, but I'm not a Japanese man. So I know what an American man can get away with, with Japanese culture. The lifeblood of an organization is openly whether or not people can trust your people. And if they don't trust your people because of how they mouth off, how they spout off, how they are emotional all over the time, how they wear their hearts on their sleeves, how they do all their teasing and openly when they're not really professional, that says a lot about your store. Now at the same time, I understand that people have to be relatable to the constituency of a store the demographics that enter a store, the people who buy from a store. And I'm always interested in how someone will say, you know, these elderly people buy $200, $300 from our store. I say, that's right. They have saved their whole life to have that opportunity, but they also might not be going out to shop more than once a month. So they might come once or maybe twice a month to your store, maybe once a week. But what they spend during the month may be no different than me except I shop daily at your store to provide for my life and the amount that I spend is no different than what they spend. It's just amortized over the month, you see.